Hey guys, this is Paul from Hi-Fi Mail. In this video, I will show you how to upgrade the software to new interface for Linux screen. You can go to our website, click about, blog. I made a post here, talk the details for the upgrade. This version supports the new UI here. The first is to download the software and you need to prepare a USB drive and copy the software to the USB and then before you update you need to check the old version first when your model is old version below 2.0 uh, then the upgrade you need to press and hold the reset button until seeing the update bar and then release the buttons and then waiting the update to finish when your model is 2.0 or the version above the 2.0 then you don't need to press the reset button and just update directly and during update you cannot cut off the power this firmware is just for our models only. If you buy the model from other sellers, don't use this software. If not, if you have troubles. Okay. Now we are going to update. The first is to download the software. Download it. Yeah. Ah, download. Okay, it have download, right? And Discompress it. Inside, uh, you can see this the two files software we need. Okay, so we just copy the software to the USB drive. I connect a USB here. The first thing is to format the USB. Format it. The format is FIT32. Okay, here. Okay, I have format, right? And we just copy the software. Copy this two files to the UDIS. Okay, then we're going to update. Here, you can see this the old menu, old UI here. Uh, now, we're going to upgrade this the USB of the Linux screen, right? And the UTIS, we have copied the firmware to here. The first thing, we need to check the version of this version here. Sixton. Sixton version. Now we can see this model is V200 here. Uh, ILS is the code for our models. You can see here. Now that means we just need to upgrade directly then we'll be fine but if your model is v1.8 or 1.5 that is lower than 2.0 version in that case you need to prepare a needle like this and here on the side you can see this is the reset button here the reset button when the version is lower 2.0, you need to press this reset button and go to upgrade it. And you will see the bar. After that, remove the reset button. Then it will continue to upgrade. This is very important. So I emphasize this. Okay, now, because this version is 2.0, we just upgrade directly. 
uh, connect the USB, right? Uh, we connect it and wait a uh, seconds and then we go to set up system firmware update this firmware is system uh, system not MCU so we click the system update it says user update detect mode uh, here But if I pass, we just click it. Okay, just click it. It will restart. We just waiting. During update, make sure you not allow to cut off the power. Also, not allow to remove the UDs. This is very important. We have some friends don't have patience when upgrade the software. That's not good. It will have big troubles if you do that. We just wait it, okay? It restart again. You can see it have the new user interface. Okay, that is the new one. Uh, that way we make sure everything is working fine, right? Yeah. We can go to system to take a look the new firmware. Here is the new firmware. Two point zero five. This is a new one. Okay. Now, then we just remove the USB. Then we'll be okay. That's it. That's quite easy, right? As you can see now, this is the new one. Uh, we can change different UI style. Here. Here it's changing, right? And others all the same. No difference on this. Okay, thank you very much.